right, so I want to thank everybody for the invite tonight. Can you hear me okay? We're good? I have the mom voice. I have a teenage boy, so I am forever raising my voice so that way he can hear me. So I have been, a um, little bit about me. So I grew up in Perry Township, graduated from Perry High School. I have three younger brothers who also followed me through the school system. I went then to Kent State University where I received my bachelor's and master's in accounting. So I love Excel spreadsheets and numbers. I do it every day, all day. Um, I married my husband who was already a resident of Leroy in 2006. He had been there since 1999. I joined him in 2005. He was on the zoning board shortly after our son Aiden was born in 2008. And he was on the board for about eight years. So we had already seen what was going on in the township. He was already seeing what was going on and being part of some of the changes that people wanted or did not want in the very rural area of Leroy. So we have about, uh, there's 3,200 people. So very small community. Um, when he was on the zoning, it was decided that at that point in time, along with the pushing of the neighbors, at some point I would run for trustee. I'm, he likes to do stuff quietly behind the scenes, which is where he's perfect for zoning, where I am loud and proud, so I would be good for trustee. So um, we decided uh, this year that this would be a good year for us to um, take a shot into the local politics of Leroy trustee and see where that would take us. Which um, I mainly am running for. So. First, I'm running for the fact of being a young, cons younger conservative woman getting involved in politics. It's a lot of us are very quiet. We don't want to be involved. We're you know afraid of what may come out of it. And I've said I refuse to stand back and watch. Uh, our son Aiden, 13, um, he just recently uh, is known as Recruit Aiden at the Lake County Young Marines. He wants to serve this country one day as a U.S. Marshal, probably through the rights of the U.S. military. So I am running for office for him to be one of those people in which he would be proud to serve for, besides the residents, but actually know that he has government that's going to support him, what he's going to be fighting for, and not tell him that, sorry, what everything you've done for the past 20 years um, didn't really come out and do anything, and sorry about your luck type thing, like my brother who is an Afghan vet. So. That is why I'm running overall for politics, is I want to make sure that he gets the support that he needs out of his government when he decides, when and if he actually decides to enlist when he graduates from high school. In regards to Leroy, so this year um, our current trustees attempted to pass a road levy. So Leroy is made up of state, county, and township roads. Uh, most of the residents live on either a township or either on a county or state route. So you can imagine the hard time that the trustees have in trying to get a road levy passed. Because most of those people out there are saying, why should I pay for a levy when I don't reap the benefits? So the ballot, it came on the ballot in May. Most residents found out about it on Facebook or through friends of Facebook the day before the day of the election. So you can imagine the outrage that came across the community when, hey, we didn't even know that there was a road levy on the ballot. So while I am, I'm running because I want to increase the, commu the community, um, sorry, the community transparency and communication. Our residences should not have waited and should not have known the day of election or the day before election day that there was this levy on the ballot. Our trustees claim that they reached out to all of us residents. They sent flyers and stuff out. I live on a state on a county road. I can tell you, I received nothing. Nor I did not know that there was anything on the ballot. Um, and then when you say, well, why did we need it? Where is the money being spent? We are not part of the Ohio um, checkbook.gov. So I would like to see the township of Leroy become part of that. So our residences don't have to call our fiscal officer who will tell you she doesn't have time to do this, doesn't have time to do that. All our residences, like you guys in part, you know, I know Painesville Township's on it, Concord's on it, Riverside Schools, Lake County. At a click of a button, you can go and see what is Leroy's budget and what are we spending money on. Because right now, they don't have that opportunity. You have to actually call and then get that information from the fiscal officer. I also want to make sure that we are reaching out to the community in means of public safety. As we all know, those of us that live in townships, the sheriff's department, they will only, you have to contract with them because you don't have your own police department or uh, you're basically, they will come and serve you on an emergency call basis. There's no constant patrolling. In the township of Leroy, we don't have a, we don't have a contract with the sheriff. So the sheriff will come out 
on an emergency call, but they will not patrol our streets because we have no contract with them. They recently came out, we all know the commissioners have proposed to all the township communities and said, we will support you guys, give you one deputy for 100, worth $125,000, but in return, you have to have another $125,000 to commit to another deputy. So that would give us 80 hours a week of patrolling. The township of Leroy does not have that kind of money. And I want to reach out to the community, ask them, is this something that you do want? We do see an increase in crime rate. We are a little bit more worried because guess what? Being that in, you know, we've had the issues in Painesville Township at uh, the bar there on <laughs> um, Fairport Nursery Road. Since then, it has been very well broadcast that the townships do not have a regular rotation of public safety. So what does that do? That brings the that brings the crime out to the townships because. Those that are committing the crimes know that they're free game out of those townships because it's going to take a lot longer to respond. But those cr criminals don't know is that the people of Leroy have guns. Oh, so we would have to defend, our, defend ourselves. Yes. 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 <laughs> but I want to make sure, though, that the people of Leroy have the opportunity to oh, actually cool. know the facts, see the facts, and may let them decide is this something that they are interested in. Same thing with the roads. They need to understand, yes, you may not, you may live on a county road, you may live on a state route, but in the end, it's our fire equipment that's gonna take a beating on the roads that we don't maintain as a township. It's gonna be the vendors that come out and service our residences, and therefore our costs are gonna go up, or our fire department equipment is gonna deteriorate faster because we don't have good roads in which our fire equipment is running on. I'm, Wanted, I've been going through the numbers trying to figure out where the spending is at. I can tell you our budget is so, so, so small. Um, one of the first things I want to do is see what I can do to get more money out of the county into the township. And I, you're laughing because <laughs> I'm sure it's not easy. But, but uh, we, don't have, we don't have a lot of commercial going on in Leroy. So we, the money's coming from the residents and we need to get our property taxes back into the township and so letting it go elsewhere where our money is really deemed needed in Paines and Leroy because we don't have the means of any type of commercial income. So that's why I'm running for Leroy Township Trustee. I'm, I know none of you guys have talked to you. Nobody's from Leroy, but if you know of anybody out there, please let them know who I am, what I'm running on. And uh, I know I, you guys will all vote November 2nd. So God bless America.